2020 has been a terrifying year, to say the least, but that doesn't mean horror fans aren't clamoring for some more enjoyable scares in the near future. Well, they're in luck. From high-impact sequels to chilling originals, these are the creepiest movies due for release in 2021. Directed by Nia DaCosta and co-written by horror legend Jordan Peele, Candyman is a sequel to the original 1992 horror classic, one that picks up in real time decades after the events of the first movie. The film follows multimedia artist Anthony McCoy, whose obsession with the now fully gentrified site to the infamous Candyman murders begins to take on an entire life of its own. The new Candyman trailer offers up a whole lot of hints about what might go down in the movie, including a number of callbacks to the original, such as the presence of an overwhelming number of bees and the iconic imagery of Candyman himself. However, the movie looks like it's diverging from the original by suggesting that Anthony might actually be getting possessed by the spirit of Candyman, as opposed to simply being haunted by him, taking things to an entirely new level of scary. And yeah, Tony Todd, who played the original bee-loving slasher, is returning to the franchise too. Candyman is set for release in August 2021. The Office alum John Krasinski made a surprising pivot from comedy to horror with 2018's A Quiet Place, a surprising box office smash that was both written and directed by the comedian-turned-filmmaker. Set in an apocalyptic world overrun by human-eating monsters who respond to sound, the Abbott family has finally figured out how to make their life work. That is, until a series of tragedies unfold, including the loss of a loved one and a chilling ending in which the postpartum Evelyn and her surviving family members must face off with a steadily growing horde of monsters. While details about A Quiet Place Part 2 are sparse, the teasers hint that the remaining Abbots will have to leave their farmhouse sanctuary and venture out into a hostile world, one filled not only with flesh-eating monsters, but also other survivors. A Quiet Place Part 2 will feature the same original cast, including John Krasinski in flashbacks, as well as adding Killian Murphy and Jaman Hansu to the ensemble. A tentative release date is set for April 2021. The Saw franchise has seen its fair share of ups and downs over the years. Sure, each of those eight installments has more than provided on the gore front, but as for quality, well, that's been a little inconsistent. Fortunately, 2017's Jigsaw put some new twists and turns into what had become a rather stale plot. Presumably following in Jigsaw's vein, May 2021 will see the release of Spiral from the Book of Saw, starring Chris Rock as Detective Zeke Banks, whose current investigation will lead all the way back to the first movie in the Saw saga. But Chris Rock isn't just starring in his first ever horror movie. He's actually a longtime Saw fan and the one who came up with the Spiral's concept and wrote the story's treatment. Longtime Saw collaborators are all on board the Jigsaw train for Spiral as well, with Darren Lynn Bowsman directing and both James Wan and Lee Whannell signed on as producers. The newest installment to the Conjuring franchise, The Devil Made Me Do It, will be the eighth film set in that universe, although it's actually a direct sequel to the first two Conjuring movies. Featuring Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson as paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, The Devil Made Me Do It follows the infamous real-life 1981 Arnie Cheyenne Johnson murder trial, which was the first time in American legal history that demonic possession was used as a not-guilty defense. Johnson's defense was laughed out of court, but he served only five years of his 20-year sentence. It's likely that the third proper Conjuring movie will be suitably dramatic, with plenty of nail-biting court scenes to break up all of those jump scares. The Devil Made Me Do It is directed by The Curse of La Llorona's Michael Chavez, and Conjuring franchise founder James Wan is signed on as producer. The Devil Made Me Do It should hit cinemas and video-on-demand services in June 2021. Having first been introduced to the world of Marvel Comics all the way back in 1971, Morbius the Living Vampire is finally getting his own movie. 2021's Morbius tells the story of Michael Morbius, a human-turned-bloodsucker thanks to the side effects of a cure for his rare blood disease. But while Morbius might be a vamp, he has none of the qualities you've come to expect from the supernatural species, other than super strength and an extreme lust for blood. Also starring Doctor Who alum Matt Smith as well as Jared Harris, Morbius will be part of Sony's ever-expanding Spider-Verse. From the trailer, Morbius looks suitably brooding, gothic, and action-packed. It's also set to bring some disturbingly brilliant creature effects to the table, as well as a cameo or two. Specifically, Michael Keaton is reprising his role as Adrian Toomes from Spider-Man Homecoming. This superhero horror crossover should be hitting theaters in March 2021. Fetty Alvarez's chilling 2016 horror feature Don't Breathe has had a sequel in the works ever since it first came out. The first Don't Breathe followed Norman Nordstrom, a blind veteran who's rumored to live with loads of cash stashed around his house. After three robbers break in and try to steal from him, Nordstrom reveals himself to be far more capable than his reclusive reputation might suggest, brutalizing the robbers one by one as they attempt to escape his home. Eventually, Rocky, one of the robbers, manages to escape, and Don't Breathe ends with Nordstrom surviving to plan his revenge. But things seem to have taken a turn in Don't Breathe 2, 
Apparently, Nordstrom has moved to a remote cabin in the woods where he now cares for an orphan girl, a kind of replacement for the daughter he lost before the events of the original movie. Eventually, people from her past track her down, not realizing who her new adopted father is. The big question, of course, is whether Rocky will appear in the sequel, but there's no news on those plot details yet. What you certainly can expect, though, is that Nordstrom will pull out all his incredible tactical skills to protect his surrogate daughter, just like he did in the original. Don't Breathe 2 is set for an August 2021 release. In what will be the fifth and final installment of James DeMonaco's Purge franchise, The Forever Purge is one of the upcoming 2021 releases that we know the least about. No teaser trailer has been released, and plot details have been scarce, other than DeMonaco telling Entertainment Weekly that he had come up with a really cool way to round out the last of his ultraviolent, socially aware horror series. Set in an America that allows a 12-hour window once a year where all crimes are legal, each installment of the Purge franchise has deepened its cultural critique regarding the roots of violence, state-sanctioned crime, and social control through fear. While some installments of the franchise have hinted at changes in legislation to end the purge in this fictional America, the title of the final film suggests that an end to this horrific event might not actually be on the horizon. The Forever Purge is slated for a July 2021 theatrical release, followed quickly by a video-on-demand release. Adam Robitel's 2019 movie Escape Room capitalized on the new entertainment trend of, you guessed it, escape rooms. Also known as puzzle rooms, these are those stylized locked rooms in which participants must solve clues to find their way out. However, in the movie itself, the titular room turns out to not be a game at all, but rather a twisted experiment to see who's the fittest in a group of already traumatized survivors. The whole affair is orchestrated by an enigmatic figure named the Puzzle Maker, and by the end of the film, the two survivors begin spying on the escape room organizers, waiting for their moment of revenge. Escape Room 2 stars both survivors as leads once again, suggesting the sequel will pick up where the first one left off. Orphan actress Isabel Furman will also join the Escape Room 2 cast, along with Poe star India Moore. There's no release date announced yet, other than it will be released in the latter half of 2021. Expect scores of fiendishly clever traps, a bunch of cleverly designed rooms, and some very disturbing kills. While Oren Pelly's Paranormal Activity series has been one of the most lucrative horror franchises of all time, raking in piles of cash thanks to its low-budget filmmaking, the critical reception towards the films themselves has been fairly inconsistent. With Pelly's bump to producer after the first film and Christopher Landon taking over writing and eventually directing most of the subsequent movies, Paranormal Activity has followed the Featherstone family's demonic curse as it reaches out into the lives of the people who have met them. Details about the seventh installment, including its subtitle, cast, and plot remain a mystery at the moment, but the film is still planned for a 2021 release. But what we do know is that Landon will be returning to the project in some capacity, although he's confirmed he won't be involved in the script or production, as he has been in previous installments. Run Sweetheart Run is based on a terrifying real-life encounter that began with a sexual assault and ended with director Shauna Festy barefoot in the Hollywood Hills with no phone or wallet and forced to walk to her home in West Hollywood. Ella Belinska stars as the titular sweetheart, across from Game of Thrones star actor Pilo Asbeck as her date-turned-stalker in the urban landscape of Los Angeles. I think every woman could relate to something like that, because every woman has their own real-life horror film to tell. Inspired by the social justice style of horror put to use in Jordan Peele's Get Out, Festy wanted to draw attention to the daily misogyny that women deal with and take it to its most devastating extreme. In that sense, Run Sweetheart Run is the true story of most women's ultimate nightmare, and although it's not going to be an easy watch, it might just be the sleeper horror hit of the year. Run Sweetheart Run also features Sense8's Amila Amin and Marvel's own Clark Gregg. The film premiered at Sundance to an excellent critical reception in 2019 and will be hitting Amazon Prime in early 2021. After the surprising success of the 2018 sequel to the 70s classic slasher Halloween, horror fans were thrilled at the news that there was a full Halloween sequel trilogy in the works, one which will explore the long-term trauma suffered by Laurie Strode and her family at the hands of the serial killer stalker Michael Myers. Picking up exactly where the 2018 Halloween left off, Halloween Kills finds the Strode women newly traumatized by a deeply disturbing encounter with the shape, one that results in more than double the original body count of Halloween. Featuring Judy Greer as Lori's daughter Karen and Andy Matichak as her granddaughter Allison, Halloween Kills will also focus a good chunk of its story on the many denizens of Haddonfield who've also been living in the shadow of Myers' rampages. These include Lori's original babysitting charges Tommy Doyle, now a grown man played by Anthony Michael Hall, and his friend Lindsay Wallace, played by the original movie's Kyle Richards. So where 2018's Halloween explored the trauma of the Strode women, Halloween Kills looks to examine the collective trauma of the town, as Myers embarks on yet another rampage. 
Originally slated for an October 14, 2020 release, the new premiere is scheduled for October 15, 2021. A follow-up, Halloween Ends, is due for release in October 2022. Goodbye, Michael. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.